Kharkiv, Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said war with Russia is in a new phase and winter is expected complicate war after a counteroffensive in summer failed to produce desired results due ongoing shortages of weapons and ground forces. But he said that despite the setbacks, Ukraine would not give up. We are facing new phase the war. And that is a fact, Zelensky told the Associated Press in an exclusive interview Thursday Kharkiv, northeastern Ukraine. After morale-boosting tour of the region, winter is a new phase of the war as a whole. When asked if he was satisfied with the results of the counterattack, he gave a mixed answer. We couldn't get all the weapons we wanted. I can't be satisfied. But I can't complain too much either. Zelensky also said he feared Israel-Hamas war threatened to overshadow the conflict in Ukraine as rival political agendas and limited resources put flow of Western military aid to Kiev at risk. And these concerns are compounded by the turmoil that inevitably comes in a U.S. election year and its potential consequences for Russia's country. With the international community largely rallying around it following its invasion on February 24, 2022, Alexander Sersky and Roman Moshoft's deputy head presidential office look at a map during a visit to the city of Kapiansk in frontier Ukraine's Kharkiv region. Thursday, November 30, 2023, the highly anticipated counteroffensive powered by tens billions of dollars Western military aid, including heavy weapons, failed to achieve the expected breakthroughs. Now some Ukrainian officials worry whether further aid would be as generous. At the same time, dwindling ammunition stocks threaten to bring Ukraine's battlefield operations to a halt. As the conflict moves toward the end of its second full year, with winter poised to cloak wartime Ukraine once again, military leaders must contend with new but familiar challenges freezing temperatures and barren landscapes that leave soldiers defenseless. There is also the threat of widespread Russian airstrikes targeting energy infrastructure and civilians in cities. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky speaks with Commander Ukrainian Ground Forces, Colonel Gen. Alexander Sersky during his visit to the city of Kapiansk in frontline Ukraine's Kharkiv region. Thursday, November 30, 2023, Kharkiv region, Ukraine. Thursday, November 30, 2023, on November 25, Moscow launched most comprehensive drone strike of war. Most of 75 Iranian-made Shahed drones targeted Kiev setting a disturbing precedent for months to come. That's why the winter war is difficult, Zelensky said. He gave a frank assessment of the counteroffensive that took place last summer. We wanted faster results. In this respect, unfortunately, we could not achieve the results we wanted. He said Ukraine was not getting all the weapons it needed from its allies and the limited size of its military force was hindering rapid progress. Ukrainian President Vo.